Hello, my name's Chris. Um, I'm flying the uh, Piper PA28 uh, aircraft at Payware in Just Light today. Um, as you can see, I've, I've done some add-ons um, with Winter Hill there in the background. I'm flying from Barton Everdrum today, which is a uh, UK 2000 scenery. Um, it's pretty detailed, it's pretty decent. Um, so I'm just going to jump in the cockpit and do some pre-flight checks. I'm going to uh, do some circuit details. Right, here we go. This is the, uh, the PA28 uh, cockpit. Um, this is the virtual cockpit. Um, it's pretty decent, pretty uh, well set out. Um, I have done one lesson, a uh, flying lesson in Barton, um, and it's pretty much exactly the same as what you see here. Um, I've just signed up to do my second lesson, so I've managed to get hold of uh, a checklist. So I'll be running through the uh, actual checklist um, to make sure I do everything right, um, as well as much as training as much as I can. Um, so I'm just going to go through that as well. So I'm going to start off. Um, just turn that page there. Right, seat adjusted, unlocked, hatches, harnesses, closed and secure, parking brake is on. Yep. Heater, air vents closed, controls uh, fully and free. Yep. Master switch on. Fuel cock on, and I'm assuming that's down here. Uh, throttle uh, set to halfway. Car uh, full uh, free movement. Set to cold. Mixture control full rich. There you go, that's that. Prime the engine. There we go. Do two clicks of that. And lock it back in place. Fuel pump on, which is that. Uh, it says on check pressure is in the green, which I just seen it there go up. Um, if we move that stick there, there we go, it's on there. Um, switch off and then pressure's holding. Uh, I've done that before, but it's never, it's always gone back down. So switch off there, it's gone back down. Uh, but we'll just leave it off for the time being because it does say switch off. Um, Magneto switches to both, so I'll switch the engine on actually now. Let's, here we go. We go just up 19,000 RPM there at the bottom. Um, Magneto switches to both, operator starter set to 800 RPM. Just bring the throttle down. About 800 there. Uh, check starter. Engage light is out, which is that. There we go, that's out. Check oil pressure rising in the green temperatures within 30 seconds. Yes, uh, assuming that's that, then two there, and that one there in the end, that's in green as well. Set RPM to 1200. Suction more than 3 inches of mercury. I think that's that over there in the corner. Um, it seems like it's on four. More than three inches of mercury, yeah, that's right. Radio switch on. I've not really gone onto that yet, I'm not really too sure, so I'll just leave that as it is. Um, at the moment. Uh, alternator showing a positive charge. I'm assuming that's that there. So if I just put the. Uh, there we go, put the lights on. Yep, there we go, the lights are on. Make sure on a positive charge. Make sure on a positive charge. Flying instruments there, checked and set. Yep, magnetos. Check for dead cut. So we'll go back down there. I just took the MS off that back a bit. One click to the left. Slight drop, uh, no luck running. Back to both. Increases again. Two clicks to the right to the left and it's on the right yep bit of a drop no rough running back to both there we go back to both there we go and that's the uh, internal checks uh, for start up so we'll uh, get off taxi into the uh, active runway which I think is uh, 26 right today there we go just taxiing now to uh, 26 right 
Uh, we have got um, payware on here. Um, if you look over there, just to the right, you see uh, Barton Bridge. I think we've got that flight simulations. I'm sure it is. Um, that's pretty detailed. That coming in as well. Uh, we've also got a uh, VFR real scenery as well, so we should get a pretty uh, detailed scenery as well. I'm also using uh, Rex um, clouds as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a full description of what I've used in the simulator um, in the description on YouTube. I've just noticed something that I might have missed before uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing my power checks on here so if I turn into the wind which is on about 250 so we'll just go on to the grass here we go set up there and put the back parking brake on I have noticed um there we go, parking brake on none of these are on here now they didn't say that in the uh, startup so I'm assuming that might just come across them in a sec so I'm just going to do me uh, power checks now for takeoff so it's a uh, face aircraft into the wind yep done that brakes hard on and set the RPM to 1200 see that I'm just in the bottom corner there increasing now 1200 oh, a bit too high a bit too high bring it down A fuel selector change tanks, so I'll uh, switch it to the right. I check for dead cut, no dead cut. Um, magnetos, yep, check for dead cut, nothing. Um, won't set throttle to 2000 RPM. Just turn the uh, AO on. Two thousand RPM. Carp heat to hot. Slight drop. There should have been a slight drop in RPM. Set back to cold again. RPM increases. Temps and pressures all in the green. Yep. Suction five uh, five inches mercury uh, plus slash minus an inch. Yeah, machine so that's over there, yep. Slow running, uh, lower the RPM to 600 to 500, uh, 600 to 800 RPM. There we go, set, yep, and we um, replace it back to uh, 1200 RPM. There we go, there's the power checks all done. Now it didn't say to uh, put this in, so I'm assuming, um, yeah, pre takeoff, here we go. Um, trims in neutral, which they are. Uh, throttle friction nut, finger tight, yep. Mixture to rich, yep. Magnetos on both, which they are. Fuel, there we go, fuel pump on, which is that one there, fuel pump on. Um, flaps as required, yep. Gauges, T's and Pete. Flaps, yeah, as required. Uh, gauges, T's and P's, and suctions in the green. Yes, yeah. Gyro set. What we get in here? So it's 21, 22, 22, 22. Check that. There we go. 22. Yep, set. Uh, is secure. Tannis is tight. Uh, controls full and free. Yep. Yep. So I've put my landing light on now. I've put that on as well, and that as well. There we go. He didn't say that in the uh, in the book to put them on, um, but I'm assuming that's what we'd have to do. 
I'll have to ask my instructor when I go back on that one. Um, and also, yes, yeah, so I'll set for t uh, takeoff. So if I just set the parking brake off, swing it back round to the right. So what we're going to do is just going to do some circuits. Uh, this is the first time I've really I've ever like, recorded one, so I might get a few things wrong, but I'm going to just try do my best. There's a lot to do as well as like doing checks and stuff, so I might miss a few things. There we go. Full throttle, hand on the throttle all times. Air speed increasing. Slowly pitch back. I'm going to do is just climb to uh, 1,000 feet, level off, uh, maintain cruise out uh, speed of 90 knots, so we can do a touch and go. Above 500 feet. Now I'm assuming that after 500 feet you don't have to uh, have your hand on the uh, throttle above uh, 500 feet. I'm going to slowly do a right one turn to the right which is no more than I think is 15 degrees Because I didn't have uh, zero degrees level off there, I was just about to uh, come up to 1,000 feet, get a little bit more, level off, go down, push down. Air creating is increasing, so I'll come back um, to three quarters, around about 2,300 RPM, and maintain 90 knots. There we go, we're on downwind now. Still got a bit of altitude, just pull back a little bit. There we go. So I'll do my downwind checks uh, for landing, before for touch and goes. Brakes uh, off. Um, undercarriage uh, down on lots. Mixture full rich. Cab to hot, which is. Uh, cab to hot. Fuel pump on, which is selected. Yep, yeah, flaps as required. Hatches, hammers is uh, locked and secured and a uh, carb that's gold there we go there's the, uh, the M60 motorway the bottom bridge just on this side So I'm going to leave it till it's in like say 45 degree angle. Oops. There we 
little bit more. Just let it decrease and fall a bit. I'm going to start my turn now. So I'm going to do 30 degrees. Back to the right. Maintaining 1000 still. Go. And now I'm going to set two sets of flaps. Pitch goes up, you've got to maintain it and then slowly trim. Let's correct that. Bring the appium down a little bit more. And I'm going to turn off the final. And set three stages of flaps. And I'm looking to be over the um, bottom bridge runner between uh, 400 and 300 feet. I think it's 350 to 300. back a little bit. I'm going to get in now, close the fall off, just collide it in. Pull that, pull that, pull that, pull that, pull that, pull that, pull that. So it's down. Full throttle. Speed increasing. Going past 300 feet, um, I can put my flaps up then. So, up. There we go, pitch comes down a bit, so just bang for that. There we go. One thing I've forgot already, I've just remembered now coming on the final, when, I, when you put your throttle to idle, you're supposed to put your car beat on to protect some icing. I think that's what you have to do and I forgot that and I'm always forgetting that so I have to remember that. I'm going to start my turn now. Wait one turn. So I'm going to come in now for a full stop landing. Gonna keep banking um I've reached a thousand feet now, uh, level off and fall down. So I should have done really it's attitude, power then trim. Go. 
right, I'm downwind now. So I can start doing my downwind checks, which are uh, brakes off, undercarriage down a lot, so mixture fully rich, carbs are hot. Yep. Cab up flaps as required, hatches and harness are secure, cabs are cold. There we go. Nice one gonna be coming in now for a full start landing. Blow the RPM reach to get to nine knots. That there, so that can, the detail's pretty good on here. The yeah, FR real scenery it is. You see Swinton Golf Course there. There's the East Lanks. You've got Swinton Golf Course there. Oh. I'm going to start me uh, turn on to uh, just before finals. Trim that angle, right? that attitude there. So, where are we now? I think we should be turning on to the final. I'm not sure, but there's a bit of a, a headwind uh, today. I think it's over like 10 knots, so I'm trying to increase the landing speed to 70 knots. I'm not sure if that's correct. It, it feels a bit, um, it does feel better. So idle, pull back nice and slow, pitch up, pitch up, there we go. There we go, that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video, um, just please like and uh, subscribe, I'm going to be doing some more as I I start doing more lessons, I'll know a bit more and hopefully I'll get better at it. This is like my first lesson so I'm also going to miss some things then. Like again, I completely t forgot to put my car beat to heart when I, uh, I put my throttle to idle but I'll I'll, uh, I'll get that soon. So yeah, thanks for uh, liking and uh, I'll try and do another one soon. Cheers.